Hello, and welcome to this short video showing you how easy it is to connect an HMI panel via OPC directly to a Simico Profinet motor management system. Without the need for a PLC, we can connect directly from the HMI to the Simico system and either show just diagnostic information in a read-only fashion or we can actually set up uh, security certificates between the HMI and Simicode. So not only can you read the status and the operational data, you can actually control the Simicode directly from the touchscreen as well. So we're going to do all that in the portal software. Uh, once again, my name is John Burns, an application consultant here at Siemens. And let's go in the portal and show you how easy it is. So here we are in the portal software. I've already created a project to be able to do this communication between the Simicode and the HMI panel uh, via OPC. So let's go into the project view. And as you can see with the devices and networks, I have my PLC, my Sirius Act Profinet push buttons, a Simicode system, as well as my HMI. So the way I, I brought this HMI in, I actually use library files. So if I come over here to libraries and open a global library, I have one here. And in that library, I created this HMI system. So if I go to master copies right there, this HMI is basically this setup that I just dragged right into the system. So for OPC communications between this HMI and my Simicode is actually quite simple. On the Simicode side, if I come over here and open up the Simicode and go to parameters, on the Simicode side, it's extremely simple. All we have to do to activate the OPC communication is if I come up here to my Profinet parameters, scroll down, and under OPC UA server, all I had to do was check that box. That's all you have to do on the Simicode side. On the HMI side, it's also fairly simple as well. So let's take a look there. So if I open up the HMI, first if I look at connections, this particular setup, I had two connections established, one with the traditional Simicode to PLC uh, connection and HMI to PLC connection. And then this connection one was the OPC link directly between the HMI and the Simicode. And if you look over here, 192.168.1.4 under OPC server, that's the address of the Simicode system. So that's connecting, making a connection via the OPC. And now on tags, if I look at the tags, which will link the data from the Simicode to the HMI, and I made a subset of HMI tags for OPC, you look on those tags, I'll have a HMI name for the tag, as well as in the address now, and this is what get you the communication with OPC, you'll see the address now is a script ending in an equals and a number. And so for every variable, that script remains constant, and all we do is we change the index number. That index number represents the actual value coming from the Simicode. If you look in the Simicode manual in the back, there's data tables for OPC communications and you'll see them indexed and say index number 33 relates to maximum current, hence I called that particular variable maximum current. So I had a connection and I had a variable name and I'm ready to go and then all I did was I created some screens and on those screens I would be able to come in and show the HMI with the OPC data, such as here, if I click on Max Current, under Properties, 
you'll see here's pump one equals OPC max current for that variable. So just that easy, I'm able to do a read-only uh, uh, connection between the HMI and the SIMA code. And again, if I go back to connections, in addition to my OPC um, address of 168.1.4 for the SIMA code, for a read-only access, you have to have none set up for the security uh, settings. When you go to a read-write, where now you want the HMI to be able to actually have command uh, policies or command functions to be able to, say, press a button on the OPC or on the HMI and then turn the SIMA code on and off, you have to change both of these settings to the security being on. And once you set the first one, then you set the second one. Once you have that setting, you then have a, a, a few other uh, simple setups on the HMI itself. When you download to the, the SIMA code and to the HMI, and the HMI is set for this security level, it will download a certificate into the HMI for the SIMA code in a um, to-be-blocked uh, folder, and you need to, or unapproved, and then you need to move that certificate using the setting files for the HMI into your approved folder. So you have to set the security level for the connection. You have to move the certificate in the settings page for the HMI. And the last uh, setup is you'd have to go into the SIMA code and under commissioning, Go online with the SIMA code. This is the last step when you want to do this, the secure uh, setup where you actually can do commands with the HMI to the SIMA code. Is you have to link the clock times between the SIMA code and the HMI. And you do that here under the command window and set time equal to PC time and UTC. Once you do that, that's the last step. Then you can also do the secure settings and you can actually do commands with the HMI as well, sending commands for start stop to the SIMA code. So with that, that concludes this short video. Once again, my name is John Burns, an application consultant for the Electrical Products Group here at Siemens. If you'd like to learn more information on the control products, please visit us at www dot usa dot siemens dot com backslash controls thanks for watching siemens ingenuity for life